Citations, 280 parking tickets. They gave 91 warnings, and it was a pretty good month for us. Good. Thank you, Chief. Are there uh, any other commissioner committee updates? Uh, commissioner Hall? I just couldn't, couldn't hear. Uh, until they're done. Okay. Uh, I just wanted to alert the commissioners. I just I had received an email from the EAC about a, a stormwater uh, uh, meeting that's being held on December fourth at the Radnor United Methodist Church on Conestoga Road in Rosemont, and I will pass it along. But I thought if Commissioner Connell wanted to attend or I, I will not be available to be at that meeting but it addresses the har arms of stormwater runoff what township developers and residents can do to prevent stormwater runoff and flooding and flood damage pollution and erosion it might be something that if any of the commissioners would like to attend the AAC is going to have a couple of representatives there they certainly will do a report for us but uh, considering everything that's going on right now it might be something worthwhile uh, and I certainly, I wish I could be there, but I can't on Thursday evening. So uh, also I do have from the Senior Citizens Committee, and I will tell each of the commissioners, I've reached out to some of you already, that the senior citizens did um, notify me at our last meeting as to the people that are stepping down. So we have three wards that will be needing new representatives to the Senior <coughs> Citizens Committee. Uh, so I will let you know that. And... Uh, that is about it from my committees. Thank you. And I will be uh, will be attending that for the um, Delaware River Keeper Network and the Friends of Radnor. So I, I will be attending that meeting. And uh, from finance, I am not aware since our adoption of a preliminary budget of uh, any proposed changes from anybody. If anybody has any this week, they should be shared with every commissioner so that we can discuss them. Um, uh, but um, as far as I know, the budget that is under consideration next Monday is uh, exactly the preliminary <coughs> budget we adopted two weeks ago. Mr. President. Okay. And just for people, since if you're watching this, you actually are watching the cable channel, um, channel five on Comcast, channel 38 on Verizon. The cable committee this year has been working um, to upgrade the cable software. The crawl has come back uh, so that we can put timely information. There is also now programming that is going out on a regular basis including right now crime prevention, recycling, public <coughs> safety, fire company information. And the goal is to increase the number of programs so that the channel is more than a rotating PowerPoint and will have programming in addition to the commissioner meetings uh, as much as possible uh, of what's happening in the township uh, and, like we said, interviews and those types of things <coughs> so that it becomes a source of far more information than it has been. That's it from the cable committee. And actually, if anyone watching has suggestions, please let us know because we can try to incorporate them as well into the programming. Okay. <coughs> okay. Um, see, the next will be continued discussion of 2015 public meetings, uh, which uh, Gloria sent out a revised um, schedule of uh, proposed meetings. Uh, it's on page 5 of 11 of our uh, mm -hmm. sheets here. Yeah, and the issue, and I don't, there were two issues that we had discussed previously. One was the date of the September meeting because, as I had suggested, 
um, as we do every year, that no township meeting should be held to coincide uh, with the major uh, religious holidays that it Rosh Hashanah and Yom Kippur, which means that we would either hold <coughs> the September meeting, you know, we had discussed this, but this way we could have Gloria prepare the ordinance, uh, whether it's um, on September 8th, which is the Tuesday after Labor Day, the 16th, which is the Wednesday of the week, uh, where the meeting would originally be held on the 14th or the following Monday. So that was the first uh, issue that I, we were going to discuss that got tabled from last month. Mm -hmm. I think, yeah, September's the only one we have open here with no date at all on Correct. for a regular um, meeting. Also, I would suggest, I know every year, uh, while we're at it, uh, the high school graduation, uh, we normally coincide with that. It might not be a bad idea. I don't. I know none of us probably have children at this point graduating, but some of the public may. So, yeah. Mon what is that, Monday, June yeah. 8th? Well, I think it's yeah. June 8th, correct? Right. It's yeah. always the second Monday, Monday of June. So I wonder if that might not be something else we might want to yeah. consider moving that to a Tuesday as well. Yeah, so... I suggest we like do one at a time, and then I have the question about the times themselves. Um, but the, the September meeting, those were the three alternatives um, that do not conflict with the holidays. Uh, the Tuesday before, we would forego our work session and have a meeting, or the Wednesday of the 16th, or the following Monday, the 21st. All work. I would suggest the 21st is not a good date. I mean, because that could be six weeks, six or seven weeks after an August meeting. And for ordinances that we need, you know, that need a second reading, that's all the longer that they're not effective, stop signs, things like that. I, I you know, I don't, I don't recall our September work sessions being particularly brutal. Um, it would make perfect sense to me that we just use the work session date. I, I would second that. I, I think we can, we've got the electronic means to get, enough information ahead of time that we could forego right. the work session that month. I'd be okay with that, too. Okay. So that I'll let... That makes perfect sense to me. We just drop no, we have no work session in September. If we desperately need one, we'll just hold one. Right. We do have a week of September before it because of the way the calendar lays out. Mm-hmm. So... Then the issue of June. I mean, we... June 8th, maybe maybe make it June 9th. Have we ever moved June for... No. Uh, no, yeah. but it's uh, it's affected commissioners before, and it's also affected members of the public. Members of the public as well yeah. attend the meetings. Who might want to attend and can't. I have no problem with pushing it to the following night. That's right. Yeah. 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 We do it on Tuesday. Yeah. 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 There's been a number of times when we had two commissioners missing because there was two yeah. kids graduating, and but at this point, and I don't Mr. think we Pinelli have that. And I and Mr. Sure. Con Commissioner Connell, mm -hmm. we've all had the issues. No, I remember Tim Denning had. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Right. No, that makes, that makes perfect sense. Tuesday's fine. Okay. Um, and then the last issue that I broached <coughs> was uh, whether we wanted to consider moving the time of the regular meetings to 7 p.m. rather than 7.30. Mm -hmm. um, you know, we can designate whatever time we want as long as we do it and advertise it. Uh, that's what's required in the township charter. Um, when I first <coughs> broached this, when I came on the board six years ago, um, people were concerned whether people could make, you know, 7.30 meetings, and that's not been an issue. The 7 o'clock has also been the time for the work sessions have started, and I, I don't know of any problems. So uh, I would welcome, excuse me? Except tonight. <laughs> well, yeah. But I would, I would, you know, I, I for one would welcome having all our meetings start at 7 o'clock. Uh, I would as well, although uh, the one thing I'm concerned about is uh, any um, executive sessions or anything we would have, then all of a sudden we have the problem. Now they're going to be 6 o'clock or, or earlier. So, Well, the thing about executive sessions is we can have them whenever we want. Right, right. There's no magic to having them before the meetings. Um, and, you know, um, uh, who knows? Maybe we'll all be more efficient in our executive yeah. sessions and pay less to our lawyer if we have uh, less time to deal with the issues. Um, I, I think seven. I, where the work sessions have worked, I, I don't think. Against it, yeah. I'm against that. Yeah, I would like. To, <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to see move the meetings back to about nine. <laughs> right. <laughs> Allow more time. Two hours. Nine. Nine. Um, okay. You know, I, I seven may. You know, I, as far as I'm concerned, the work sessions were a tryout for that, and I think the work sessions have been successful. Mm -hmm. um, 
And so I, I don't have any problem with seven. I know I'm habitually late here, but if we have them at eight, I will show up at five after eight. If we have them at seven, I'll show up at five after seven. So hold them at five. I'll show up at five after five. Um, Just my two cents. I'd like to see him stay at 7.30. So. Okay. Do you, do you personally, Chris, do you run into timing issues? I mean, schedule, I mean, more than anything, what matters the most is what the commissioners can do. Right. Mm -hmm. and, and I do. And at times, uh, getting here sometimes at 7 o'clock is, is a little tougher. And when you put, say, an executive session mm -hmm. on top of that, yeah. it might be at 6.30, yeah. it's even that much more. Yeah. But it, it, my preference, yeah. as myself, I'd like to see them stay at 7.30. Well, we could pull a page out of the old board's playbook and just hold executive sessions in the middle of a meeting. <laughs> just here for a half hour. Um, we can also, and we've done this before, have executive sessions afterwards. Um, and, uh, and also, I mean, we've had plenty of executive sessions or public hearings or things at 6.30 where we've had quorums. So, um, but I, you know, I... Um, Obviously, we don't vote on this till next week, and there's right. a number right. of commissioners. And I think Commissioner Siegel might have said it already. I'm not sure, but uh, it, the code, uh, as it sits now, re requires the meetings to be at 7:30. So we would need to change the code um, uh, because of Section 402 of the of the code shows. Uh, is that what it was? That, 402. No, we changed them. The, changed. No, the it's it's an ordinance because it's in the ch charter and it doesn't specify other than the first meeting, I believe, of January. In the, no, in the administrative code, it's section 4203. Um, it says our other public uh, building is determined by the Board of Commissioners and appropriately advertised at 7.30 on the second Monday of each month. It's not a big deal. I mean, we just do an ordinance changing it. That's all. Then that's what we must have done for 7.30, because right. it was 8 o'clock until I got on the board. And Did that right. get amended? Did it say when it was amended last? Uh, we amended. Was it last year? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah. Yeah. But like I said, when I first came on, it was eight o'clock. Yeah, we were eight. No. Five. And then we changed it, so that must have been the process we used. Yeah, and, and I, I think, as I said, I don't think it's a big deal. I, in fact, I thought you had mentioned that when you started out. So it's, uh, you know, we just. Does that mean that we need a draft ordinance by next week? Yes. Okay. That shouldn't be well, a problem. Draft an ordinance. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try and get back that time uh, one way or another. <laughs> um, is that an ordinance that has to be passed twice to be effective? Do we have to have the first yes. two sessions Yes, all, all, no all ordinances what? have to be, yeah. But it, are we, we're talking about doing this for next year, right? Or, or, so, so, year, yeah. so we can do it, you know, we could do it December and December January. And January. Right? Right. Right. January is right, already listed the, for 730. But January would, would have it. to be 730. Right, right. As would the reorganization meeting. That's right. Mm -hmm. yeah. Would make it uniform. I agree, um, but whatever time you make it, I'll be here. Seven thirty is easier, and he'll be five minutes late. <laughs> yeah. he'll be five minutes late. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, then, uh, why don't we get into the agenda? Are there any? And and just sort of historically, looking at the calendar this year, just so people know. We, we, according to my records, had seven executive sessions this year um, that were pre-meeting, of which um, one, on, uh, let's see, four were one hour, two were, one was 45 minutes, one was 30 minutes, and one was 15 minutes. So it, it was four times this year that, that's in it, that we had one hour sessions. So, and if I go back historically last year, they were almost all in 2013, half an hour. No, I just find it amazing. <laughs> have the information. There's no way to actually confirm that that's true. <laughs> it's impressive. I, you know, actually, I'm that believing he said it. All it's, that. it's I have impressive. Okay. I'm just going to call him on that. All right. So, uh, <laughs> the important question, though, is, is does it mean we get out a half hour earlier? <laughs> Uh, I doubt it. <laughs> if, it's, if it's, well, work session has to be. Okay. <laughs> yes, a regular meeting. Yeah, I will point that out as well. Oh. Yes, thank you. Okay, so uh, next week's meeting, there's a list of uh, items that are on it. Uh, one of the things, so you know, uh, we have a revised resolution for the CVS land development here. Mm -hmm. uh, so does anybody want to discuss anything for the agenda? Yeah, that's good. Awesome. Uh, 
I'll point out if you have any questions, the developer and their land use attorney are here to answer any questions. If you. This is 1959. The yes. CBS. Yes. 1959 2014. Has this been discussed by us at all? Mm -hmm. We had a we had a first reading. We had a public yeah hearing. public hearing and a first, uh, reading. first reading. I'm sorry. We had a we had a public hearing and a first reading of an ordinance for a zoning map amendment for 1315 North. Right. This right. resolution is land development. Is that sort of goes hand in glove with that? Um, mm -hmm. And basically, it's. It cedes the land development controls to Upper Darby since most of the site improvements and all the roadway access points except one ingress movement on Vermont Road are all in, Haver are in Upper Darby Township. All right, this is a public hearing we had in the October meeting? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, which I, sorry, I was in Chicago. Um, I mean, is there any need for the developer to get up and speak now? Only if you have a question. I don't have any. If there are any I questions, I, mean, I, I, I think public hearing, so I can warn everybody. In advance I, I think it's been speak. it's been pretty clear. We've been working well, Lori, and our zoning people have been working well with the Upper Darby folks um, mm -hmm. to the point that they've agreed. I mean, the, the landscaping and buffer planning is following our rules as opposed to their rules. And if you've ever driven along their you know township line, our rules are <coughs> much more attractive. Because so. we should know that. Yeah. Right. Before you recuse yourself, uh, yeah, it was October. It was October. Yeah. Yes. No, I know I didn't attend yeah. this public hearing, so I think it was the October. Well, you meeting. might have been five minutes late and missed it. Well, no, so. that one, I was, I, was, I was away. I was in okay. Chicago. Yeah. Because the meeting was moved because of... <coughs> well, we have had several public meetings. I've met... The developer had a large public meeting with both the Upper Darby residents and the Haverford residents were invited. The St. Dorothy's, that was a couple of hours. They presented the same uh, graphics and information that were presented to us. The planning commission and the zoning board so yeah i misspoke i, I what i meant was public hearing right and mm -hmm. I, I i mean i i I'll let jim Byrne advise me otherwise but right. having missed the public hearing i'm a little uncomfortable voting on the issue if i right. wasn't here for that but if that's not grounds to refuse myself i'll get to know this this week and prepare to vote I, I think if, you, if, there's, if there's a transcript from the public hearing that you want to review, um, I don't think there'd be anything right. wrong with uh, you doing that and reviewing it and Terrific. voting. I'll give this back to you. In addition to that meeting, we, I've had meetings with the residents of the street directly behind the developed property and, long, and with people on treaty. And there has been very little uh, opposition. There are always those concerns, similar to what we had with the quarry. Traffic is always a concern. Pedestrian traffic is especially important there because of the number of school children that walk that route to get to St. Dorothy's grade school and the people uh, that attend services there at St. Dorothy's for daily mass and Sunday mass. Um, and the developer is looking at that. The, uh, the, the traffic uh, look at will be very uh, intense by PennDOT working with that with the light control. <coughs> Limiting the amount of turns onto Burmont Road was something that PennDOT immediately seized upon. Uh, we're going to be looking strongly at the left turns, and uh, the developers already agreed to limit right-hand traffic out on the other side, on the residential side, which is Treaty Road. Treaty also opens to Warrior. So part of the traffic study, I'm hoping, will look at um, some solutions to mitigate traffic on that side, such as looking at one way on either Treaty or Warrior, one way or the other at, at, at the appropriate time after PennDOT comes back, and, and their, their traffic engineers look at the studies and see some recommendations. And then we'll also do the same thing that we did with the quarry, is uh, asking for a post-development traffic study as well to make sure that we got it right and if any other changes would be required. But again, the developer's here and, and their, his attorney is here as well. If anybody has any specific questions. Okay. Any of the other topics? Could, I'd like to ask a question about Mr. Storage, please. Okay. Uh, Lori, I when I was looking at the Planning Commission meetings, it looked to me like there was some uh, little bit of variance on the height of the building. Is there going to be, is it going to be taller than, there's something with that on that building going in? Or is it just because it sits higher because of the way that that topography is? I received some zoning hearing board approvals. Mm -hmm. um, uh, and. You know, honestly, I think that the height was a, a very minimal amount of deviation, but it, it did go to the zoning hearing board. 
I'm sorry, the zoning hearing board of Virginia <laughs> denied it. The um, uh, the developer appealed um, and and won, and so um, the the common pleas court allowed the minor deviation. They I think that they said that the relief was de minimis. Okay, I, I wasn't sure if it was or not. I had asked planning, and I I well, didn't the, hear anything back. That site was tough to, from yeah. the beginning. It's a capped right uh, landfill. It's part of the Superfund site. Commissioner Siegel uh, is aware of some of the difficulties with finding somebody, you know, a way to properly redevelop the site. Right. Yeah, it was, the height was, was really almost not an issue, um, okay. but it was, you know, a, a zoning matter that the court agreed with the, the developer. Um, there, it's literally, from my understanding, one of the few types of development that can go on the property mm -hmm. because it spreads the weight because of, of it, mm -hmm. they've assured us that it will be non-commercial use. There will be no open doors like there is the place across from Coles, which they also own. Uh, it's designed for residential use. They expect eight to ten cars. They're going to unify the driveway um, with the Swiss Farm and all of that. There'll be no left turns onto Lawrence Road, which will help, and they'll make that driveway curved so that no one can use it as a speeding cut through. Um, they, they were very cooperative in terms of it, you know, and that that's what they had said. And, you know, you know, to get something that's also tax develop that generates yeah, tax revenue right. and only eight or ten cars, because once people put stuff in a storage place, they don't sort of go and visit. Uh, you know. Yeah. Yeah. With the, the, the development, okay. the Eagle Road development Carter plan. Yeah, that's all in there. In there. Okay. Um, and it's a father and son. It would, they, you know. They, right, they, I remember had a the lot initial of, meeting. You know, they they did their homework and they've worked hard with EPA to get this through. Um, and I don't know that there's really anything else that would ever go there. And they're making the design changes, you know. And from a neighborhood standpoint, I've heard from two neighbors, you know, most people who just don't want any development there at all, um, which isn't practical. But other than that, no one has said a word. There was no one at the original zoning board meeting that I recall. Yeah. Um, so it's, you know, because it sort of sits away from everything, but right. they're going to also make it look, you know, it's not going to just be the facade of, you know, what we have on Westchester <clears throat> Pike. And the signage? It's minimal and will go off at night. I mean, it's, okay. yeah. Mm -hmm. It won't look like the nail salon. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I deserve shot. that. Yeah. <laughs> I've gotten more complaints about that, Now No, too. I've tried on that yeah. one, yeah. We, uh, we'll address that <laughs> at some point. But, no, I was just concerned because I had, I had seen in the planning uh, minutes that there was that height, and I wanted to just make sure that it was minimal and not going to be something Sorry. different. I wasn't going to take <laughs> storage just, places okay. are not counting on impulse traffic, okay? That, I know. No, they don't need I know, a well, sign, you know, to... Mm -hmm. Convince somebody to go to them. Maybe we can host Storage Wars too. Great. I have a lot of people that are very attached to their storage units. <laughs> okay. So, no, I think it's a great plan. All right. Thank are you. Are there any other uh, topics people would like to discuss or? If not, adjourn. make a motion to adjourn. Second. There we go. Oh. Wow.